uh, why can't Muslims figure out that without Judaism, their religion would have never existed? I think a lot of Muslims do. <laughs> Actually, no, they don't. They no, think no. Muslims think that Judaism was Islam, Islam and, yeah. and it was Adam changed. was. You know, yeah, Muslims think uh, Moses everybody. Was, Moses was Muslim, Jesus was Muslim, Adam and Eve were Muslims, Noah was Muslim. Uh, they're and, all uh, Muslim. all of their stuff was changed. Yeah. Yeah, all of their stuff was changed. They, but, they, but, yeah, but but in reality, you're right. So one of the interesting things about the hadith and how the hadith were made is that when people wanted to compile the hadith, this was many, many years old, more than a century after Muhammad died, <clears throat> the hadith or the traditions of Muhammad, they actually went to uh, the um sort of Jewish rabbis would convert it to Islam uh, because they were very good at recording. They'd done this kind of same kind of thing with Judaism, right? Where you had the Torah that was revealed and there was all this exegesis and people had come up with laws and things like that. There was a sort of a Hadith type system with them too. So they went to them and uh, you ended up with a lot of things that are not in the Quran. Right? There were Zoroastrian people who converted. They pray five times a day. The Quran only says pray three, three times a day, but we got five times. Stoning for adultery, in the Quran it says fornication, you're supposed to whip them. The stoning, the verses were apparently eaten by a goat. Those hadiths about, you know, the eaten by a goat and bringing the stoning punishment, they came uh, from that area too. So, lasting circumcision is not in the Quran either, male or female, and uh, it, it is in, uh, in Judaism, the male one. Yeah. So, a lot of the stuff came from there. Islam is a Jewish conspiracy. That's all I'm saying. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.